So this week, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, a technique that I use um, all of the time, um, subtraction technique that I use predominantly, I guess, on drafting film. Um, and this is where you put your pigment in and then you use something like an eraser or a craft knife or a slice tool um, to lift out that pigment so that you create uh, shapes, texture, highlights, that type of thing. Um, so this is my latest tutorial, this little um, baby hair, this leveret. And as you can see, I'm working on drafting film. Um, I've put all the pigment in on the top of the head and I'm now starting to bring in texture and highlights, a um, little bit of shaping into that fur so it actually looks like fur. Um, you know, um, and what I tend to do with a piece like this is I'll try to ignore the detail um, in the fur as much as I possibly can um, and get all of the values and the tones and the colour and everything in first and then come in over the top and create all of that that lovely detail in there and I'll use a combination of the Tombow which is the little eraser that you can see here and the slice tool. The Tombow I love it's like just using a white pencil basically and you just come in and it creates these lovely sort of soft highlights i use a i've just used a blusher brush just to wipe away the um you know the the, the pencil dust that, that accumulates and what you'll find is the more you use the tombow it picks up the pigment on the end of it and i have just like a little um piece of sandpaper on my desk next to me and I just rub the end on that every now and again it takes lifts off all of the pigment so you're not kind of just transferring it back onto the film um, you know which is um, another really great tip actually once I've added sort of a few bits of the um, the Tombow, which gives you that much softer look I'll then start to bring in the slice tool so this um, is the manual uh, pen cutter it's the one with the orange button so it, the blade stays out um, I tend to put it upside down in my hand because I'm right handed upside down in my hand turn around to the left a little bit um, and I use the edge of the blade just to sort of carve out and scrape out some of the uh, the more prominent highlights um, and it's a really really fantastic way of getting all of this gorgeous gorgeous texture and detail into a, a piece like this um, you can see you've got you've got really good control over it um, you know and you can make sort of softish marks and you can make harder marks um combine that with the tombow and you can get a really really lovely effect now one of the things that i see people or, or one of the questions that people ask me um about a lot is you know how on earth do you get the slice tool to work and i think what happens is people tend to use it in a cutting fashion so you'll use it as if it's a knife and you'll use the very very end of it whereas you can see i'm actually using it upside down um, and I'm using the edge of the slice tool, which is a little bit chiseled, um, you know, just to sort of gently scrape away the pigment. Um, and for a piece like this, for hair like this, it's fantastic. Uh, what happens is you scrape the pigment away, but it also leaves a little tiny bit of an indentation on the top of the film. So it means that when you start to bring pencil back in over the top, it skips out. It skips the where the um, where the slice mark is. So you can see here where I'm starting to bring this um, walnut brown polychromos in now, in between these slice marks a little a little later on, um, you can really, really start to get the feeling of depth in the fur. Um, you know, you can, it looks like there's fur sitting over the top of, layered over the top of, um, you know, the fur that's underneath it. So when I teach, I teach how to create something as simply as possible for it to look really, really realistic. Um, but it to be as simple as possible. And, you know, sometimes when you look at a piece like this, you think, oh my goodness, this is impossible. I, can, I couldn't ever do anything like that. But it's about looking beneath the details. It's about looking beyond the details, if you like, um, you know, and learning processes that really, really help, um, you know, and it doesn't mean that you have to uh, be amazing at drawing or anything like that. It's all about um, understanding how the fur works and understanding how your pencils will work so you're going to be able to get that effect. So breaking things down into easier to understand um, formats is something that I do on a regular basis in my academy and skills club and also within my coloured pencil foundations course. So um, you know do if you haven't um, join the waitlist uh, I've got some uh, fantastic free events coming up um, and of course the doors open in the academy on the 26th of December. <music>